Hey, 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 welcome. If you are new here, welcome back. If you have been here before, I am Freya. This is Budgie Budgets and today is Sunday. Um, so we are going to, first we're going to open some Happy Mail, which I'm really excited about. Um, and then we're going to do our regular cash unstuffing for the week, our weekly check-in and a budget with me for the coming week. And we have some Etsy income, you guys, to include in our budget with me this week, which is so exciting. It's so, so exciting. Um, so, uh, first of all, let's start with, I do apologize if I sound a little bit rough today. It was my auntie and uncle's 70th birthday party last night. So we were out quite late um, and it was very loud and there was lots of singing. Um, so my voice is a bit, is a little bit dodgy today and I am very, very tired. I don't drink, so um, they're going to get hung over or anything like that. But um, just because of all of the chronic illnesses and disabilities that I carry, uh, a big night out means a very tired Freya the next day, <laughs> but that is all good. Um, so first of all, I have some happy mail from uh, Prince by Carly Studio. I actually won a little giveaway that she did um, on her Instagram. Mm, a couple of weeks ago, I think it was. She had the cutest little like way to pick the winner. It was like a little race. It was very cool. Um, so I snagged some stuff from her store. I mean, I spent more than what the giveaway was worth, um, but that is okay. So I got um, little Space Invaders scratch off, which saves 130 as double sided little aliens on the back. Um, I got this My Sweet Addiction, which saves 50. And again, it's double sided, which is super cool. This side saves 100. So I'm planning on using these in my debt binder once I've gone through the scratchies that I currently have in there. Um, little elephant, again, is double sided. Little juggling my savings. So cute. Um, and then these, I'm not sure, I'll probably put this one in that binder too, which is fish and save. So you scratch and you save a certain amount depending on which sea animal you scratch off. I thought that was super cool. And then this one's like a little bingo um, to do with dice. So I thought that would be fun for um, just like my regular savings challenge binder. So that's those ones. You'll put them off to the side. And then I did order um, from Rocks Budgets. Uh, she has a YouTube channel. I haven't opened this yet. So I'm hoping there's nothing in there that's like um, got my address or anything on it. Um, so Ross has a YouTube channel and obviously an Etsy store. Um, the shipping is from Romania, but she does free shipping, which is just the most awesome thing because, uh, postage is expensive. If there's one thing I've learned from opening an Etsy store, it's the postage is expensive. Um, so these are all little freebies. That's her little card. Dear Freya, thank you. Your order made my day. I hope this package makes yours. Hugs from Romania. That's so cool. Um, <laughs> so go and check out Rox. Um, yeah, she's on Instagram, on Etsy and on YouTube as well. She has some great videos on her channel. Um, I mean, that's so cute. And you're perfect. Perfect. <laughs> that's amazing. Oh man. So cute. Oh, she's got purple hair like me. That's so cool. Um, and freebies. Oh, we love a good freebie. That's so cute. So we've got that one on oh, a no, scratch off too. Pineapple scratch off. Awesome. Okay. So what I actually, that's so cool. Um, what I actually purchased from Rocks was this super cute. It's a rainy day fun, but I'm going to use it in my debt binder. Um, so I think there's, was it eight? One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, yeah, eight. I thought that was eight. Um, little scratch offs. And I just thought they were really cute. Um, so they come as a set. Aren't they sweet? Little unicorns in the rooms. Um, so yeah, this again will go into my debt binder. I'm just gonna have a little <laughs> a little stash of scratchy challenges ready to go. Um, for when I churn through the ones that are already in there because hopefully I'll get through them pretty quickly. I don't know, that's probably being a little bit too optimistic, but that's okay. Um, optimism never hurt anybody, right? Um, so that is my happy mail. Thank you so much, Rox. They're so, they're super cute. I love them. Um, I will definitely, they're, they're good quality too. I like how she's done them. 
Um, so yeah, I think safe to say I will be ordering more things. <laughs> I had a basket full of stuff and then I was like, calm down, calm down Freya. Um, cause I have ordered a few things from a few people, but I'll talk about that more when I do my Etsy binder stuffing, I think, uh, which I probably will try and do this week. Um, so unstuffing, we're unstuffing gas. I did want to stuff this until it was completely full and then pay the bill, but the bill's due like on Tuesday. So I kind of have to pay it. Um, so I'm not going to cash off this this week. You'll see in the budget, I'm just going to, uh, keep that in the bank and pay the bill straight away. So we're unstuffing all of this. So we've got 200, 400, 450, 500, 550, 570, 590, 10. We're going to add another 130 to that and that will cover the bill. Um, so the bill was $739 and some cents. Um, so that will cover that. Uh, I think that's all that is all for in here. We are also unstuffing car registration because I paid this as well. Um, so that actually wound up being cheaper than I thought. I thought it was going to be 290 and it was actually only 200 and, uh, 30, 229, I think it was. Uh, so we'll take 230 out. So that leaves us with 105 in there, which is great because it gives us a little head start on the next because I've only paid for three months this time around. Ideally, next time I want to pay for at least six months. And then by the time that six months is up, I want to be able to pay for the whole year. Um, just because, I mean, it's pretty insignificant what they charge you each time, but they do charge you a tiny bit extra uh, when you pay it in smaller installments. Okay, so that's those. We're not done, guys. It's been a week. <laughs> It's been a week. Uh, let's see, clothes. Um, I'm taking some money out because I did buy a dress. So 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, I'm taking out. Um, I bought a dress. I was hoping to wear it on, last night to my auntie's thing, but it didn't arrive in time, which I, yeah, I kind of, I thought it was going to be wishful thinking because I've bought it from um, the UK on Etsy. Um, on Etsy, on eBay. Um, it's actually a dress that I've had before and I just need a different size. So it's a dress I had like pre-children. Um, it's a brand that I love and I've been searching high and low for it because um, they stopped making it. Uh, so I'm really, I'm super excited for it to arrive. Uh, so 20, 40, 60, 70, 80 and 90 for that. Um, which like, I'm not even mad about. I'm not I'm so, I'm just so excited that I found it. You know, when you just, you find really good piece of clothing, you know, you're going to wear them all the time. Um, it's one of those. So, um, I just, I hope it's in good condition because obviously it's pre-loved. Um, so I'm just hoping it's in good condition when it gets here. Medications, we are unstuffing all of. So, uh, 20, 40 and 50. Uh, that's because I had to go and stock up on some medications for myself and my daughter and uh, just some other chemist bits and pieces and I wound up spending more than I thought um which again is fine it's what it's what the money is there for uh it's nice just to be able to go and buy it and be like oh it doesn't that doesn't have to come out of like the grocery budget whoops or anything else it's just there ready and then finally what was the other thing Christmas because I found oh, I really need to wipe these over you guys <laughs> they're just sticking to each other because i had a different vinyl on them and i pulled it off and then i didn't clean them properly because i was just rushing um so i just need to clean them off my envelopes don't come sticky i promise <laughs> um so sorry 50 is coming no 40 is coming out of christmas Eve. so we're going to take out that 50 and we're going to put a 10 back in uh because i found some little um sensory um, it's like, it's like slime, but it's not slime. But anyway, they were on sale. They were heavily reduced. And I was like, do you know what? That'll be great for all three kitties for their little Christmas Eve boxes. Just something little in there. Um, so I went ahead and ordered those. So, and how cool is it? That I already have the money in there to pay for them. I was wrapped about that. Uh, so we've unstuffed 200, 400, 600 and 50, $700, which was already in the bank. Well, maybe I'll put this in here because otherwise I'm going to forget. 51, so that's 800. 20, 40, 60, 81, that's 900. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 1,000. 
and 20. So $1,020 we have on stuff today. Ugh, that is gross. Um, but yeah, the vast majority of that is our gas bill and our car rego. So that is all good. So that is going to go back to bank, um, which is awesome. Sorry, I'm just trying to find someone to put up. Got myself in a right mess today. I'm <laughs> just my brain is not on right. Um, not on right, not working right. Whatever. <laughs> okay, so let's do round it up. We've got a fair bit in there this week. We had $6.11 because we have been spendy spending, um, obviously. <laughs> so uh, let me speed this up for you and we'll get this filled out. Okay, um, 56 cents left over. So that's good. We've already got uh, just over, or oh, nearly $18. Just, I was going to say just over 17, but it's like $17.97 we have in there already now. So that's awesome. Very, very happy with that. Come on, drive. Okay. Awesome. So we've done cash on stuffing, we've done roundup. Let's do our weekly check in. Um, which is not perfect this week, you guys, but is a lot better than it was last week. So, you know, small wins. <laughs> Let me zoom in a smidgen. Okay. Um, I have been asked if I could create a budget planner, um, specifically tailored to cash budgeting, because there aren't really many of those, uh, in Australia. And I am going to do my very best. I'm going to do my very best, you guys. So if you're interested, hold tight. Um, I do have a lot. I do have a lot of orders outstanding. Um, and also, I want to launch my Christmas advent calendar soon as well. Um, so, but yeah, we'll make it work. We'll get there. We'll get there. Okay, so we wound up 387.77 in the negative with groceries last week. We added $790. We have spent 452.75. However, that is nearly a full shop for two weeks. So I loaded this shop up as much as I could because I wanted to use my 10% off monthly discount through Woolies, um, Everyday Rewards Extra. So I have bought like all of the meat we need um, for like last week and this week. Um, so hopefully we will only need to do a very small top up shop during the week this week. I'm currently got dough on to make scrolls for the kids lunches. I'm going to be making them muffins today too. So you shouldn't have to buy too much in the way of like snacks and stuff like that. It should literally just be bread and milk, hopefully, hopefully, and maybe some fruit and veg. So um, we are still in the negative but we have clawed back a lot from where we were. <laughs> so hopefully it won't be too bad come the end of the month. Uh, so we added 106 to take away last week to um, pay off that. We haven't spent anything this week. We've been so good. Uh, so that finishing up with a zero balance, which we love to see. We didn't spend anything in petrol. We didn't add anything. So we're ending on the same. And chemist, we didn't add anything but we did spend everything. <laughs> so we've got nothing left in there. I think maybe there's a dollar. There might be a dollar in there. I'm not gonna count it. I'm just gonna roll it up to groceries. Okay, so without further ado, let's see what April's week three paycheck budget has for us. I was hoping this would be a big one. I was hoping child support payment would have come through already, but it has not. So that will be next week, which is fine. That's the bulk of where I'm going to cover car insurance from. Um, that next, that that paycheck, I, I think. I'm pretty sure it was that one. Um, so, what are we working with? Why did I click that? Okay, so our regular income, we have $985. And from Etsy, I have pulled out... Now, I actually think that I've done this wrong. And I have, because I didn't count... Yeah, I didn't count what I was going to pull out to put into the crystal binder. And I think that I should count this in that. So I'm going to. So I have pulled out $470 from Etsy, um, which is amazing. And is all thanks to you, wonderful, wonderful people. Um, 
just snapping up all of my products in both both in the pre-sale but just just generally you there are so many orders you guys <laughs> um i'm so excited my husband keeps telling me to pull down physical items again because i think he's worried that i'm gonna get overwhelmed um but i feel like i'm on top of it i have stretched out my processing time a little bit as of yesterday um just because i just want to make sure that i am getting things out on time um so, and I am pushing out closer to the end of those processing times in a lot of instances. Um, I don't know what happened on Etsy. They short circuited, something went wrong and the delivery date for the crystal binders was like set to like this week. <laughs> so I had to go in and change that. So apologies if you're one of those purchases, but it was in the description that it was going to be a four to five week. So I think everyone already knew that that was going to be the case. Phew. Um, so yeah, that, this is so this is so exciting. This is so so exciting um, that I can pull this money out. Like obviously, and you will see when I do my Etsy binder stuffing, the vast majority of what I've made will be going back into the business. Like I, materials cost a lot, um, unfortunately, for this kind of um, stuff, and just also other general things like subscriptions and more equipment, better equipment, um, so that I can make a better product and make it faster. Um, yeah, so it's just, it's it's so exciting, you guys. It's so exciting. So we're out of this. Our fixed expenses are swimming for the kids this week, which is getting 315. And I think, um, oh, and gas, our gas bill. So I'm going to fund that in here. So I would have been cash stuffing an extra 130 into that this week, but because the bill's due before I'm going to do my next cash on stuffing, and because it's a lot of money, um, I was like, I'm just going to leave it in the bank so that I can um, transfer it across. It just seemed like the smarter thing to do. So I hope you guys can see the bottom of that. Oh, yeah, you can. All right. So 445 is the total of that, which leaves us with 1,010. So then groceries, I'm just going to add 70. Um is that going to be enough to get us through that by the time that pays the 50 that we're already backwards? I'm not sure. Probably, probably not till the end of the fortnight. Like we might go over that a little bit, just given that like a top up for milk and bread these days is like minimum 10 bucks. Um, so yeah, we'll see how we go. Um, but at least we're at least catching up without having to put too much more money to it. Um, take away, I'm just going to give 50 because we'll probably just have something sneaky small. Uh, petrol is getting 90. Chemist is getting 10. We have to build that back up again. Um, but what I bought should last us for a little while. We just needed like more well, things like Panadol, um, some cold and flu stuff, and then, yeah, my major medications. Uh, and then spending is getting 20, 10 each for Hubby and I. Whoops, not 10, 20. And then Belle is getting 90. So this is part of what's coming out of my Etsy money um, because I wanted to get a little travel cage for her. Like not that we like needed, have needed to take her anywhere or anything like that, but I just want to have one just in case, like if we had to emergency take her to the vet or something. And look, I could probably just put her in a box, but I also want somewhere safe for her to be um, if I want to be taking her cage outside to clean it because sometimes it's just easier to just hose the whole thing down. Um, so yeah, just because we have dogs as well, like I can't just have her out and free all of the time. Uh, cause as much as I love my dogs and as much as they have been really, really good with her, um, their instinct naturally is obviously going to be that she is lunch and <laughs> I don't want to risk it. Um, so that leaves us with 680. And then, um, so we were cash stuffing more this week, but obviously um, because I've moved that gas over, it's not as much. So we're cash stuffing 350 into envelopes. Mini Monday's getting extra 10, so it'll get 40. Um, savings challenges is getting 90. Woo! Um, hopefully we can make a good dent in full house and hopefully we can get close to finishing car alarma um with that much money in there that's exciting and then um our emergency fund or the crystal binder is getting 200 dollars, um which is 
super, super exciting. Um, and I think that is everything. That is everything. So that is our zero based budget for this week. Um, yeah, as you can see, like from what we pulled out, it was, it was a spendy week, but we have all the money here and that's the benefit of doing this. Um, this system is that the money is, it's there and because it's there and because it's physically in there, I haven't touched it, which is unlike me. Um, like I just, yeah, the tendency to see money in our account and be like, ah, I could just use that for now. <laughs> Um, and I also haven't been using our credit card, which is awesome. So because we've got that $400 in Mojo, it's in that one, um, that's basically our credit limit. So that's, a, that's kind of how much I'm happy to spend, um, without taking money out of the bond, like knowing that I'm going to reimburse them from the binders kind of thing. That's why I really wanted to take that gas out, that gas money out. Cause I don't want to be spending that much out of my account. Although I could have because I had placeholders in it. So I do have a portion of that in the bank, but in any event, that is what I have chosen to do on this occasion. Um, I think that's all for today. I feel like I was going to say something else and it has slipped my mind. Um, which yeah, it doesn't necessarily mean it wasn't important, but anyway, hopefully it will come to me and you will hear about it in a video later this week. Um, there's probably going to be a few videos this week because I will do crystal binder stuffing. We've got savings challenge video um, and I will probably do an Etsy binder stuffing as well. If you guys are interested in any of that, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Um, hit the bell if you would like a notification every time that I upload so that you know what's happening. Give me a like and as always leave a comment because I love reading your comments, you guys. Um, I hope that you all have a beautiful week. Let's hope that this weather comes through. Um, it was a bit miserable here yesterday, but we will see how we go. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow for Mini Mondays. Woo! Okay, I love you. Bye-bye.